Hey, 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 everybody. How we doing? Welcome to a nep- blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Welcome to another episode of Perfection Unfolding with me, Kara G. How we doing? How was the eclipse? Are we feeling renewed, rejuvenated? Are we feeling sad? Are we grieving? Are we letting go of things? Are we cord cutting? What are we doing? What's the vibes? What's the vibes? What's the vibes? I'll tell you what I'm feeling is I'm feeling exhausted. <laughs> and I feel like a broken record because the last couple of weeks I've started the show like that. And for those of you who are new here, like this show, Perfection Unfolding, is the space where I deep dive into topics that I think are helpful for self-development. And I also share with you like how I'm using them, how they work in my life. Um, if you're into that, stick around. I do a lot of talking. I talk a, a lot of, about a lot of things that I struggle with, the things that help me. Um, and so, yeah, so go catch up on the rest of the episodes because that makes it make a lot more sense. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling exhausted. I feel like a broken record, but bro, this eclipse season has been just effing my shiza up. Um, as you know, last week, I, I told you that I have a job and like, Jesus, I did not realize how much, en- I don't remember how much energy having a real job entails, <laughs> entailed. I can't remember because I haven't had a real quote unquote, a real quote unquote job since June of last year. Like I was a freelancer for six months. Then I worked in the mountains for six months, for three months doing a fairly simple job where there's a lot of downtime. And now I'm like, diving head first, feet first, butt first, hoo-ha first into like working a full eight hour day, like full concentration for the most part. And um, yeah, whoa, my little manifester energy that I've got going on, which if you're into human design, you get it. If you're not into human design, you don't get it. And that's okay. I'll go into that topic one of these days. But manifestors, like we got like four hours of productive activity in us any given day of the week. And those four hours are shot from 4.30 to 8.30. I'm like, after that, I'm done. I'm kaput. I'm eating lunch and I'm like so so hungry because I'm trying to like refuel. But I never thought that. Let's go ahead and get into the show because we'll get into some other stuff here in a second. If you're new here, I always start the show off with a gift of gratitude section. And we start the gift of gratitude section off with a couple deep breaths. We do three deep breaths together. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to ground ourselves in reality. We're going to take in, you know, the energy of the eclipse in whatever way it's supposed to help you. Some people say it's for release and for grief and for looking at your shadow and for appreciating the cycle of life and death. That's the sun being life, death being, being the moon, blocking the sun. But whatever it means to you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're an astrology girl or not. We're just going to take a moment today. We're going to take a moment for ourselves. We're going to sit on our sits bones. We're going to get, get it, ground ourselves into our body. We're going to feel our sits bones reaching into the earth like roots of a tree. And we're going to sit up nice and tall with our chest towards the sky. And we're going to take three deep breaths together. We're going to inhale all the things, all the good, all the positivity, all the, the presence. And we're going to exhale anything that we're worried about all of our aches, all of our pains, our worries, the things that don't matter, right? Because when we worry about things, we're just worried about a future that doesn't exist. Or we're thinking about a past that's not here. That's not real anymore. (laughs) But in the present moment, you're safe. You're here. You're with breath. You're present. So all together, let's take a big deep breath in. Let's exhale nice and big. Ah. And let's inhale. And release. Ah. One more big breath in. And exhale. Ah. And if your eyes are closed before you open them, I want you to think about one thing you're grateful for. Doesn't that feel nice? 
If you feel comfortable, you can open your eyes. And we're back. Every time I do that, I feel better. And this is a grounding exercise that you can do when you're driving to work with your eyes open, when you're at work, when you feel a flood of emotions coming up for you, like when you're triggered, for instance. Take a couple deep breaths, pause, get present, get curious, you know. This is a practice that is going to slow down your your heart rate if it's pumping a little bit a little bit fast. It's gonna help you feel a lot less anxious, or at least for a second. It's a form of self-care. Like you could be you could be dissociated all day and then you take these three breaths and now you're present. And now you're you're focused, now you're back with your body. Your body, your mind, your spirit, they're all connected in the present. Right? Isn't that beautiful? That being said, what I'm grateful for, we're going to jump right into it. I've got kind of a list today. I've got kind of a list that's going to lead me into what I want to say today. Okay. Today, I'm grateful for resistance. Resistance and I have had this ongoing relationship where I've had resistance to recognizing my resistance. (laughs) I've, I've seen resistance as an enemy instead of a friend in the past. And I'm officially grateful for my friendship with resistance because now I see resistance as this loving reminder that I'm probably ignoring something that I need to look at or I need to do or that would be helpful for me moving forward. My resistance is usually me protesting like a little kid that I don't want to do something that's good for me right? Because it's hard, because it's uncomfy. And now my understanding as like an adult who is trying to accomplish things and do things that mean something, that have value, like that's that, that those things exist on the other side of my comfort zone. So resistance is just, I see it, I validate it, I say, I hear you, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm the adult now. You know, I'm grateful for being in tune with my desires. Doing this podcast is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Moving to California and working a seasonal job, like experiencing the snow, living in the mountains is something I've always wanted to do. Um, Working for myself is something I've always wanted to do. Just being creative is something I've always wanted to do. Like, there's so many things that, like, so many desires that I've had my entire life that I didn't act on until this year. Because I didn't get clear about what they were. I didn't get clear about what they could look like. And this year I got clear, got really clear. And and I'm grateful for for building that relationship, building that attunement with my desires. And and then another one was I'm grateful for for shrinking the amount of time between knowing something and doing something like knowing what my desires are and then doing something about it like the time is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and I'm I'm taking action I'm executing a lot quicker which is really dope but I'm like (laughs) I'm so grateful for that I'm grateful for being able to pivot which I'll get into here in a little bit I'm grateful for not being afraid to take a break I'm not afraid to rest Several years ago, I was somebody who was afraid that if I sat down, I wouldn't get back up. That was a narrative that played in my head because I thought I was a lazy person. I thought like, as long as I keep moving forward, then I won't stop. And therefore I won't give up on myself, right? Because if I stop, I'll give up. If I stop, I'll slow down, I'll give up. You know, That's, I, don't, I don't believe that anymore because I recognize that sometimes I have to stop. I have to pull back to push forward, right? It's a top, it's kind of a concept I spoke about a couple of weeks ago. The farther you get pulled back, the, the farther you'll shoot forward. And that pull back period could be rest. It doesn't always have to be struggle. It could just be rest. You have to pull back so you can rest. You have to you have to separate yourself from the from the the action and from the kinetic energy to build your potential energy back up, right? That's just science, baby. And so I'm I'm grateful for not being afraid to do that. Cause I know I have discipline, right? I know I'll pick it back up. I I trust myself to do that. I'm grateful for rest. I'm grateful for knowing when to rest and when to grind. I gotta sneeze. (laughs) Hee hee. Pardon. 
maybe I'm allergic to talking. <laughs> That's how I know I need rest. I'm grateful for knowing when to rest and when to grind. Like this goes back to what I just said. Like I know now that I can grind. I can work. I can pump out stuff. I'm creative. I can create. These are things I've done my entire life, but I never recognized my, my ability to do it before because I always did it in a scarcity mindset. Like, this is what I have to do because I said I would do it, like, for somebody else. Like, no, now I know that I can grind when I want something with intentionality. And with that, I can trust myself to rest. And I can trust myself to know when to rest and when to grind and to know that I can do both and I can pivot between either one when I, when I decide to. That's beautiful. That's something I never had before was this trust to, to get back up when, when I say I will or just to do things when I say I will. I never did that before and now I've done that. I have proof. That's exciting to me. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for having multiple priorities and being okay with not accomplishing them all at once. Can you see a theme happening here? <laughs> I'm grateful for witnessing myself and being honest about what I'm capable of and what my weaknesses are. Right? I'm grateful for knowing when I'm not meeting my own standard. Mm. I'm grateful. This is this one's a major key. I'm grateful for leveling up to a point where my standards have increased and recognizing that I no longer, like my previous standards no longer work for me. And I'll explain more in a second. I'm grateful for me, myself, and my mind. I'm so grateful for my mind, bro. Like, I'm so I'm yawning. I'm sneezing. What is happening? I'm falling apart. Can you tell I need rest? Can you tell what the theme of this episode is? <laughs> I'm like, my voice box isn't even like fully speaking right now. I'm like speaking in like this deep pit of my voice. Like, where is that coming from? I think like the the more I stand in my truth, the deeper my voice becomes. <laughs> um, that's just my own hypothesis, but it seems to be a thing because my voice used to be way higher. Like maybe it comes with age. I don't know. But I'm grateful for me, myself, and my mind. Like, we have been rocking this shit for a minute. Like, I have never had more love, admiration, and respect for myself in my entire life. And I'm saying this during eclipse season when your words are supposed to be all jumbled and, like, you know, you're all triggered and things are weird. But, like, no, like, this shit is real. Like, I cannot stress the importance of the relationship you have with yourself, of building self-respect and self-trust. And the only way to do that is by doing what you say you're going to do, saying what you say you're going to do, holding yourself to your own standard over and over and over again. And I've done that the last six months. This last six months, I've fucking done that over and over and over again. I've done things I never thought I could do. I've changed my own mind about myself. Strictly through action. <laughs> they say actions speak louder than words. I'm a firm believer that you need both, you need actions and words. And I've given myself both. And like, I can't even begin to explain to you how transformational that is and how special that is. And how it's changed, like, like my self-esteem has increased to a degree that's like baffling to me. <laughs> I'm grateful for 22 episodes of this podcast. 22 episodes of this podcast. That's six full months of showing up for my creativity in this way. Showing up for my heartbreak, for my desperation for my curiosity, for my confusion, for my clarity, for my ambition, for everything, every single week. 22 weeks. I don't know if that's, a, that's probably not as special to you as it, is, as, as it is to me, but six months, that means something to me. Like, 
That's what I'm talking about. The discipline, the showing up, the proving to myself that I'm someone I can depend on. That's what this whole thing has been about, ultimately. I mean, that's been a big piece of it, to be honest, is being someone who, who, can, who is, I can depend on. Someone who follows through. Someone with integrity. It's my number one value. I could cry just thinking about it. It means so much to me. It means so much to me that I'm a person with integrity. I'm a person who's integrous in all, in all facets of my life, all areas, without question, without a doubt. Am I perfect? No. But do I try my damnedest? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm so proud of myself for doing what I said I was going to do. I can't even begin to explain how much that means to me. To know I'm a disciplined person with lived experience to prove it. To know I'm a creative person with merch and graphics and logos to prove it. I am just in love with who I'm becoming, who I've become, and who I'm going to be. This whole experience of being in my own lane, doing something just because I said I would, just because I, just because I always wanted to, it feels incredible. Even though it feels like I'm talking into the void each week, I know my words have helped people all over the world. Up until this point, showing up has been my ultimate goal. And if I help just one person, then that has been, that was enough for me. But if I'm being honest, I've leveled up and I've showed up and what used to be a reach for me is now my foundation. I'm ready for more, to do more, to be more, to show more, to provide more. Just showing up is no longer my goal. I want to bring real value to the table. I want to have real discussions with real people and share that with the world. Doing this po- whoa, whoa, whoa. Doing this podcast solo has been incredibly rewarding for me, but it was never my long-term goal or my long-term plan. I also value quality. And up until this point, whatever I've put out, as long as I put it out, that was good enough. And good enough was good enough. But now I've changed my mind. I want and plan to provide my best in producing this podcast going forward. Specifically, when it comes to the information I provide, I don't want to keep giving you half-thought-out ideas and topics because I was tired and didn't plan to plan out the content in advance. That's not me. It goes against my integrity. Before, I used to think that this quality in me, the the piece of me who aims for quote-unquote perfection, was unhelpful. And to be honest, it used to hold me back from taking any action at all. But now I no longer aim for perfection. I still have this need for high, to, to produce high quality things though. My goal now is, is and will be to meet my own standards and to continue meeting them as they level up and level up and level up and level up. And if I'm being radically honest, if I continue to move forward at the rate I am Currently, without planning what I want to do next, everything I put out into the world is going to be half-assed and, well, under my standards. So with that, I figure lucky number episode 22 would be a perfect end cap on this beautiful, tragic, exciting, depressing season of perfection unfolding. Season one was pretty incredible, but I'm excited to see what unfolds in the next. I love you. And I'll see you on the other side. No, I was going to end the episode there. Just because that's how I ended the thing. And I was going to be real dramatic. But I say that to say there's so much going on in my life right now that I would be doing you a disservice if I continue to do this without recognizing the fact that like I would not be bringing my best, my best, mater- my best content, my best self my best energized self like to the table because I can't I can't give that to you right now and I in in doing this podcast it's it's a practice of me being radically honest me sharing with you vulnerably the things I'm I'm struggling with the things that I'm I'm excited about 
I thought that this month was going to go wildly different. I thought that this this spring was going to be wildly different, that my podcast was going to pick up and that I was going to launch my Patreon and maybe I start making a little bit of money from, you know, whatever, like getting my name out there. People, as long as I was consistent, people were going to find me. And that's true. But I don't want people to find this podcast and to find this community when I'm not at my best. And I'm not at my best right now. Like, the thing that's annoying about being a human being, in my opinion, is that like there's always something that's falling through the cracks. Because it doesn't, it's just, it's not that it's impossible to have everything that you want. Because I I refuse to believe that. I know you can have everything you want. But it's impossible to maintain the highest quality of all the things you want all at one time without help. That's the kicker. And I don't have any help. This is just me. And and now I have a full-time job that I'm adjusting to, which I'm incredibly grateful for. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful for that. But it's like with the with the blessings comes responsibility. There comes like a um a price of admission, right? Like everything has a price. And and I'm willing to pay the price of admission for this good job that I've got. Like I love the people that I'm working with. The the hours are kind of incredible in a way that I never expected. The job is is a job that I can do that I'm good that I'm good at, but it's still a bit of a stretch because it's different. And and all of that is taking up a lot of my headspace right now. And I have to I have to recognize that I can't just blow past that and and pretend like everything's fine. Like it's not fine. And and I don't I don't like the fact this is my my mind thinking that I need to keep pushing forward to keep grinding, to keep producing, you know, out of fear of stopping and never starting again. I don't like the fact that I, I, I need to rest and take a break from this to, to recalibrate and to, to plan. But I know it's something that I need to do. I recognize that it's something that has to happen. It's like spring is the time where like things start kicking off and catching on fire in summer. But at the same time, it's like Spring and summer is also my season to enjoy myself, to enjoy my life, to enjoy the fruits of my labor, you know? And and I've put in the motherfucking work. I have I'm harvesting right now. And like I I've I I put out the fertilizer and and I've planted the seeds and now I'm watching the things grow, but it's just interesting that I'm harvesting the things I've, I've grown in a different area of my life I wasn't anticipating, right? And it's not forever. Like everything has a season, everything's cyclical. And so I'm, I'm going to respect that in this season of my life and respect your time and respect your attention and, and take a step back. Because I know when I come back, I'm going to be so much fucking better. I'm going to pull myself back into this slingshot. So when I come back, I can push forward. Like if I've been doing a, a pretty good job up to, this, up to this point, just showing up, in my opinion, I'm excited to like see what the fuck I'm capable of moving forward. When I, when I have the energy, when I've adjusted my, when I've adjusted my schedule and, I, and, I've, and I've acclimated to my environment and to my, the things that I've, I'm plugging and playing. I'm going to come back a thousand times better. I'm going to come back with the plan and I'm going to come back with help. You're only as good as the people who you're surrounded by, you know, and the people, and it's not about, it's not about what, it's about who, like there's people in my life who want to help me. There's people in my life I want to collab with, but right now, like I do not have the capacity for that. My house right now is a mess. My room has been a mess since I got back from Cal- from California. I've been kind of keeping it at bay, but like I need to deep clean. I need to spring clean. That's exactly what I'm going to do with this podcast. I'm going to spring clean my approach. I'm going to spring clean the topics. I'm going to get organized like the way that I was planning before I left California. I got to get back to that. That is part of my my mission. I know that there's something about showing up to this podcast that is going to propel me in, into my future. It is my future. Writing is my future. But just showing up without a plan, without a fully thought out episode, without, you know, like I love my digital diary episodes. Personally, I think they're not really nice. It's, it's very cathartic for me. But that's not the only thing I want to bring to the table because to be honest, I'm just a person, right? And yes, there's value in hearing my experience, but I also have other plans. I have other ideas. And um, 
it's important that I bring those to the table. It's important that I share in a concise, cohesive, simple, matter of fact way the things that have helped me. That's been my whole goal for this from the beginning. And I think I've done a good job of that in some areas. I think I've done a not so good job of that in other areas. And so I need to audit. I need to get, I, this is me being honest with myself and being honest with you along the way. And so episode 22. And I wanted to, I wanted to share, because also today's the solar eclipse. To, I'm recording this on Monday, uh, April 8th. And when you're hearing this, it's, it's April 9th. But I think it's just this, you know what? Let me just Google. I'm just going to do a quick Google so I don't butcher this, right? I'm going to look up the spiritual meaning of solar eclipse. Because in Texas, where I'm at, we had to, we saw totality and I stared at the totality for like the full three minutes that it was up there. And I just thought like, this is special. Like this is, this is darkness being illuminated, you know, like, but also the shadow being incredibly beautiful and important to recognize it. The shadow side of yourself, the shadow side of, of the moon. That we are, we all like hundreds of millions, like not hundreds of millions, but maybe actually hundreds of millions of people were staring up at this, the dark sky in awe, just staring at the ring that the sun was making around the moon. We were in awe of this shadow, this darkness, this, this nighttime kind of situation. Um, the first thing that pops up on Google, I'm not going to go into a deep dive of looking up what this means, but the first thing that pops up on Google on Marka.com, it says, beyond its astronomical wonder, the total solar eclipse holds spiritual significance for many. It symbolizes a time of darkness and spiritual renewal, offering an opportunity for introspection and shedding of old energies. That's exactly what I'm feeling right now is that I'm feeling I'm ready. I feel spiritually renewed. I feel ready to introspect on where I want this to go. I have so many fucking ideas that I'm trying to birth when it comes to the, just the idea of perfection unfolding. Journals, merch, clothing, quotes, definitions, website, Patreon, all these things that I've been cooking in my brain that I've been ready to like spew out. But like, I want to give them the rollout that they deserve. I want to give them the attention and the time and the the artistry that they deserve. I don't want to just spit them out and just just because I'm trying to make money. I'm not trying to just make money. I'm I'm trying to share. And and in sharing there's value there and where value lives money follows. Money's not the ultimate goal. The value is the ultimate goal. The creativity is my ultimate goal. And and there's a way to do it that's that that honors it. And I'm and I know that if I keep going forward, I keep pushing forward, pushing be the being the, the major work key there, that I'm not gonna do it justice. I'm not gonna do it in the way that like that feels good to me. Like I feel like as as a person, my entire life I've I haven't birthed anything that I was really proud of because I feel like I haven't really created anything that was truly me. That came from me. It came from my loins. It came from my mind. And I feel like this podcast and this concept, this philosophy, perfection unfolding, it's it's a lifestyle that and and even just the branding for my podcast and like all the all the ideas I have in my head and like the definition I've created for for it, like it feels like it's coming from me. Like, no, did I create it? Did I invent this idea? No, I didn't. But the things I want to do with it feel like my baby, right? Like it feels there's something there and I don't know what it is. And, and I just, I need to, I need to introspect and I need to shed whatever like this, this, this old version of me is because I feel new. I feel there's still a lot of old me in there, but like when it comes to my career, I feel new. When it comes to my creativity, I feel new. And so I need to, and, and so I just need to take time for me. I need to take some time to rest and to just write out this Mercury retrograde, write out this solar eclipse, this and this lunar eclipse, just this eclipse season, and just 
think. And I probably won't need as much time as I, as I, as I think I do if I, if I just rest really, really hard, you know, if I really just go all in and just dive into rest and dive into introspection and rejuvenation, like I'm going to come out like with a million hundred thousand ideas and, and I don't know when I'm going to come back, but, um, cause I don't want to give you a date. I don't want to be, I don't want to make a liar out of myself, but I know when I do, it's going to be, it's going to be epic. And there's going to be way more people involved. And I'm, I'm so fucking excited about that because that's really what's going to take this to the next level. And if you've been rocking with me and you've been listening since episode one, like, I can't even, if you're a patron, like John, mom, Megan, like I can name you on three fingers, you know, just the, the people who have reached out to me on Instagram, the people who have, who have messaged me, the people who have let me know that like this, this podcast has helped them in some way that there was some insight that like sparked something in their brain or in their heart or in their soul. Like that means everything to me. I'm also about to start my period. So I'm like very emotional <laughs> and I'm very tired. Like my bedtime is 7 PM right now. <laughs> and, uh, it's cut. I'm, I'm pushing it, but I just, in the deepest pits of my exoskeleton, <laughs> in the deepest, deepest, deepest pits of my soul, of my heart, like I earnestly am so grateful for you. <laughs> and not, not in a performative way, in like a really, truly genuine, like, thank you, you know? Like, thank you. I can't even, I can't even begin to describe like how special I feel, how humbling it is to know that I'm like doing something that actually matters to someone other than me. (laughs) I'm just, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to show up and... I'm turning into a sad sap, but I don't give a fuck. Y'all knew y'all knew what you signed up for when you came here, but and for those of you who are new, if you're new, like this is just the beginning. Like I'm not going anywhere. I'm just resting. And I'm honoring that rest. And if that's something that you need, if if that's something that's hard for you to to acknowledge and to accept and to lean into, like let me give you full permission. Rest the fuck up. <laughs> it doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you, you're not going to miss out on anything. Like the best thing you can do for you is to take care of you. If you take care of you, everything else falls into place. You can take care of the people you love. You can take care of your business. You can take care of your dreams. You can take care of everything else. If you take care of you first, That is the best thing you can do for anybody, especially for people who love you and for yourself, especially for yourself. That's all I got. Affirmations to end this episode are, you deserve rest. (laughs) You can do rest. You can do hard things and you can do rest. You will not miss out on anything. So long as you are doing exactly what you feel called to do. Rest included. You are beautiful. You are a joy to be around. You are an incredible initiator. You're an incredible receiver. You're an incredible giver. You're an incredible person. I hope this eclipse felt like a renewal. I hope you move forward in airy season, this this energetic new year, excited and, and powerful and with the knowledge that you can do whatever the fuck you want. And I hope you do. You have all, all the things you need with you right now in this moment, all the tools you need, all the connections you need, 
anything that you want to do, that spark in you is there for a reason. That, that ping, that intuitive ping that like, this is something I need to do. It's in there. For, it's in there for a reason. Honor it. Honor it like your life depends on it because it does. It's not going anywhere. That need for rest, that need for adventure, that need for a new relationship, that need for no relationship, that need for connection, that need for love, that need for, for you know, a steak instead of junk food, that need for whatever it is that, that you intuitively feel. Trust it. Follow it. Give yourself permission to lean in. And lean the fuck in. There's nothing to be afraid of. You can trust yourself. And if you can't trust yourself, give yourself a reason to trust yourself. Everything's a choice. There's always something to choose. You can choose whatever you want. I will be repeating that to every single day, every single podcast till the day I die. Everything is choice. Empower yourself. Love on yourself. Rejuvenate yourself. Give yourself rest. And know that you are light, love, and magic personified. And you can do anything that your heart desires. And I hope you do. I'm saying that to you. I'm saying that to me. And with that, I'll see you in the next season, you guys. I love you. <laughs> Follow the podcast. Instagram, at Perfection Unfolding Pod. TikTok, at Perfection Unfolding. YouTube, per at Perfection Unfolding with Kara G. If you want to email the pod, I've got to have a, I'm going to have quite some time to think about some new topics, to think about who I want to interview, who I want to bring on. If there's a topic that you love that you want me to expound upon, send me an email at perfectionfoldingpod at gmail.com. If you want to just talk to me, at per send me an email at perfectionfoldingpod at gmail.com. The, the Patreon is being paused as of right now. So if you're listening to this and you're a patron, you will not be charged until the, until the podcast comes back online for season two, for episode 23, lucky number 23. Um, so stay tuned. I love you guys. That's all. Okay, bye.